All right, guys, so in this video, I want to talk about magic candies and the cookies that you guys honestly should be leveling up as well as investing in right now currently in order to, you know, use them and utilize them for the meta comps and the meta teams that are being used throughout world exploration, guild boss battles, arena, and things like that. So uh, let's talk about it. Uh, I want to break it down into different sections, uh, talking about cookies that are great overall. And then talking about cookies that are going to be more specific for like your boss battles and then uh, for like things like Cookie Alliance right now because there are different teams being used as well. So first, let's talk about magic candies that you honestly should be investing in uh, for overall content. It's, you know, if you're confused on which one should you be investing in first to start off with. So first of all, I think there are a couple ones that you know, uh, are going to be really, really good for overall content. And that is going to start out with first the tank, Financier. So this is without a doubt. I've talked about this multiple times as well. Financier is absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, Financier's uh, protection with the regular skills are really good. But with the magic candy, now you're able to get extra damage resist, crit resist, debuff immunity, healing, as well as extra damage resist as well for the entire team. So Financier, even if you don't have Crème Brûlée, it's a bonus if you have Grand Brulee, but even without, Fitness here is going to be an amazing tank for a lot of people. And I do recommend, if possible, to go and uh, make uh, Fitness here's, you know, Magic Candy into at least level 1. Uh, level 10, unless you're using fin uh, Fitness here with Grand Brulee, it's not a problem. I would say even having a level 1 is going to be absolutely amazing, but plus 10 it's a very very good bonus next one uh for the damage dealer overall content is no other than captain caviar so captain caviar right now is absolutely amazing too uh was really good back then but has gotten even better with the extra bonuses that we have gotten with the magic candy and the explosion damage is great for extra nuke damage but we have damage resist bypass which is 25 percent as well as you know uh reflect damage minus 65 that that is whatever but plus 10 plus 20 and plus 30 is where captain caviar's damage just absolutely dramatically increases so i definitely recommend if you're starting off the game because of the fact that captain caviar as well as financier and some of the cookies that i'm gonna mention are available inside of the mileage shop it might not be a bad idea to invest in them with the mileage shop and then quickly level them up to 50 make their magic candy and slowly farm them plus 10 captain caviar is going to be amazing all right, um, and then next one for the healers or the support, there are going to be two, and that's going to be Cream Puff as well as Parfait. I would say for overall content, Cream Puff is going to help out a little bit more, uh, but it's going to lose out on the arena side. Parfait is going to be definitely more helpful in the arena side than Cream Puff, but is going to lack in parts like, uh, you know, harder level you know beasties hard mode master mode as well as uh you know things like cookie alliance cream puff is absolutely amazing right now guild boss battle 2 cream puff is being used too so cream puff without a doubt i would say is one of the cookies that you need to really 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 go and invest in all the way up to plus 30 whenever you can is because of the fact that you're able to get some insane amount of crit damage increase which is going to be helpful for a lot of different contents and of course Parfait is absolutely amazing too. I don't think it's a rush to make it up to plus 30 or plus 20. At least plus 10 for the extra burst healing. And then the debuff immunity and the extra buffs are really, really great for Cream Puff as well. So out of all of the uh, magic candies, those four are like the top recommended. The ones that you honestly should be investing in. Uh, Fitness here and Captain Caviar both require strength crystals uh, for our, uh, you know, Cream Puff as well as Parfait. I believe they both require arcane crystals uh so you know you can see where the problem might occur but still you know fitness here doesn't have to be plus 10 right away i would say plus one is fine captain caviar if you can get up to plus 10 i think that's going to be really really good and then parfait too plus 10 and then cream puff if you could get it even higher that's going to be also very 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 good and then quickly going over the topping uh fitness here most of the time is going to be using full on so chocolate for things like arena uh, but inside of World Exploration, uh, Full Solid Almond is definitely going to help. So those are going to be the two different uh, variations. Captain Caviar, simple. Syrian Raspberry is usually the best, best topping uh, for Captain Caviar. Parfait, uh, 
also very different uh, depending on the cases, but most of the time it's going to be full surf chocolate and then arena, uh, it, depending on the team, is going to be full solid almond. And then last one, cream puff, you know, most of the time, like 90% of the time, full juicy apple jelly. Sometimes you might use a different build like this where you just don't uh, need that much crit and you're just able to use a variation uh, of juicy apple jelly with searing raspberry or juicy apple jelly with searing raspberry, even swift chocolate depends on what subsets you're going for now with the top recommended four out of the way let's talk about situational ones uh going into something like the guild boss battle now all right okay so moving on to the guild boss battle setting is going to be these two right over here pretty much uh you know we used to have squid ink uh you know added uh when living abyss was used but not really anymore the main two are going to be cream puff as well as black raisin black raisin for the red velvet dragon and cream puff for the avatar of destiny Red Velvet Dragon, uh, Black Raisin is really, really good because of the fact that you're able to apply that, uh, you know, weakness debuff and you're able to do some extra damage as well, amplify debuff as well, allowing Black Raisin to be a really, really good semi-damage dealer slash debuffer uh, for the team. And then uh, occasionally there are people using something like Rai in order to go and increase the damage for the Avatar of Destiny, lower level uh, to sweep uh, those levels super, super quickly. So that is going to be an option for you guys if you guys would like to use uh, Rai as well. So those are some options that you guys have for guild boss battles. Now moving on to the Cookie Alliance. So now for Cookie Alliance, there's like a lot of optional ones as well as situational ones. But the main ones that are going to be used uh, here and there, depending on, you know, your uh, team and uh, the season, are going to be something like this. Uh, right now, I would say Captain Caviar, Cream Puff, as well as even Parfait and Financier are going to be used. Uh, the four are going to be used, but there are going to be situational ones where, like, in Frost Comps, we have Pinecone, as well as something like uh, Snow Sugar are actually being used as well. And then uh, sometimes inside of like one shot cons, uh, depending on the cookie you have, you can use Black Raisin, you can use uh, Rebel as well, um, you can use Captain Caviar, but you also do have Weakness Diva coming out from Mango as well for players who might have already used um, their resources to actually level up Mango. So these are a couple of the ones that are going to be used inside of Cookie Alliance. Um, and I would say getting up to plus 10 for some of these might be a reasonable option if you guys are planning to go and clear a bit more of cookie alliances and of course toppings are going to vary depending on your team and the team setting so with that out of the way guys of course there are going to be cookies that can be used for world exploration but the thing is a lot of different cookies can be used for world exploration and it does not have to be cookies that need these magic candies uh something like licorice pretty good for world exploration summoner comp uh does decent tanking but you don't need licorice. You don't need to spend those extra resources to make his match candy and use him inside of World Exploration if you're trying to max out and you know you're trying to min-max the resources that you use. So in reality, everything else right now, uh, something like vampire, licorice, you know, uh, something like uh, squid ink, espresso. I would say you know latte, werewolf. These, uh, you know, uh, wild berry, milk, even sorbet right now are not really being used. Madeline can still be used in guild boss battle and a couple of the teams that we have, uh, depending on whether you need the light damage or not. Uh, you know, but because of the fact that Blackberry has been buffed, you don't need to use Madeline anymore. T9 is not being used right now, but of course there are times or there can be a time when T9 comes back with the you know one shot comp uh mala sauce is more of the fire type as well depending on the events and seasons you might see mala sauce being used but you know as of right now we don't have any use for her uh or anything like that uh and then of course like cream unicorn too not really good sorbet still usable but not really really good again squidding too same thing um usable but not really really good and uh, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. There's a lot of different magic candies. Oh, I forgot purple yam. Purple yam is not needed either, guys. Um, so there's a lot of cookies with magic candies, but only certain ones need to be upgraded in, um, you know, urgency. If you guys would like to, if you guys need to focus on something. And right now, out of the options, the four are going to be Captain Caviar, Financier, Parfait, as well as Cream Puff. And then for the Guild Boss Battle, 
is going to be black raisin as well. All right, um, so that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Hope you guys found the video helpful. Uh, if you guys need any, you know, help, guide that you guys want me to go over, then please let me know that in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys all on the next one.